Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and I just wanted to check in with all of my Talarans out there and see what's been going on since the last time we spoke. Oh, it's got to be about a month ago now. But what's been going on with me? I've been pushing towards 50, and how many times have you heard me say that? Factually, I am... I am finding it difficult to focus on my mage, and I'll tell you why. At some point in this video, you will see me hit level 48. I'm pretty well past that now. That footage was from several days ago, right when Phase 2 of the world event started. And uh, I'll tell you about some of my misadventures. I spoke about this to a certain degree on, uh, as you hear Skype going off in the background there, on the latest episode of Warfronts number 25. I've been getting a lot of harassment out in Shimmer Sands, and uh, I really, I'm really having a difficult time fighting through it in many cases. Uh, even when I can get people to come out and help me, it just degrades into a giant PvP battle, which is pretty cool, but it doesn't get me the XP I need to get to level 50. Everybody over on TGN Rift is on my nuts about getting to 50 and doing some level 50 content. And it's a little bit frustrating because I'm the only person over there. Uh, so all of the subscribers on TGN Rift look to me as the sole provider of Rift content for TGN Rift. Point of fact, I am the sole provider of Rift content at this point. I have heard we have another director who's supposed to be posting over on TGN Rift pretty soon, and that will take some pressure off me, but I'm just not really interested in doing anything other than Warfronts right now. It's the show that I originally brought to TGN. It's the show that I was doing long before TGN. I was 13 episodes into Warfronts before I ever even got accepted into TGN. It is my show. It's my thing that I do. And it's a learning process. Um, I've said in the past on episodes of Warfronts, I only play PvP when I do an episode of Warfronts. And that is, uh, that is by design. You know, Warfronts is my learning experience, and it is my attempt to get better at PvP, and that's generally the only time that I play PvP in preparation for an episode of Warfronts. I'm not a PvP player, I am a PvE player. And so it's my thing, and I don't want to abandon it uh, just to give people content that they're asking for. It's unfortunate that I am the only director on the channel, but I can't please everybody. And first and foremost, I have to please myself, because if I'm not having fun, I'm not going to produce good content. So, yeah. That's what's been going on, at least in the terms of uh, the last week or so for me in Rift World. Of course, hopefully you all know 1.6 is looming on the horizon. I imagine that that patch will be very conveniently timed to drop just about the time that the Old Republic drops. Uh, I would not be surprised at all. And also, I imagine that World of Warcraft will have a their sizable content patch coming out around that same time with a couple of new dungeons and whatnot. Two or three dungeons over there. Of course, 1.6 will bring Ember Isle, a whole new, uh, whole new zone. It will also bring an alternate version of uh, Black Garden, which I'm really looking forward to because all of the, you who follow me through Warfronts know that I very often get Black Garden uh, just in the random queues. It is, I get it 70 to 80% of the time, which doesn't seem possible if the queue is really random. Uh, so I guess the reason that you get Black Garden so often is because it, it requires the smallest amount of people. So when there's only four or five people in the queue, it will pop a Black Garden as opposed to waiting for enough people to start a codex or start a White Falls Steps or whatever. So I can see the logic and the uh, programming reason, you know, the reason behind the curtain as to why Black Garden seems to pop so often, but damn, it just seems to pop all the time for me. And, uh, Kind of tired of it, so I will be interested to see the stockpile mode. Don't know a whole lot about the stockpile mode. Uh, actually, as I'm recording this, and part of the reason that I, I am recording this, is I just set up the uh, alpha updater to update for the PTS. So I'm going to head over to the public test shard and test out some of the new stuff, whatever might be available. I think Ember Isle has been sporadically available, uh, and I'm not sure about stockpile mode, if it is always available or not when it comes to Black Garden. So I'm going to head over there and check that out here in just a few minutes. So uh, yeah, level 48. I'm uh, halfway to level 49. Um, I'm still enjoying Rift, though I'm just not playing it nearly as much. I'm really starting to get into uh, more general gaming. And I think that's just a... 
that is something that I have uh, evolved into as a gamer. I was always a very general gamer, and then for a long time I became this uh, MMORPG player for many, many years where I focused on playing <clears throat> Warcraft and Warhammer and uh, trying out a lot of the new MMOs that would come along and, of course, now playing Rift. And I think as I've started my second channel uh, and, and I've gotten into TGN and started playing Space Marine on TGN's main channel, I hope some of you have seen that I play, uh, I, I'm doing this Space Marine uh, Let's Play basically on TGN Central, which is youtube.com slash TGN. I'm doing a Let's Play of Space Marine uh, over there, really enjoying that. I'm, I'm getting back to my gaming roots. I'm becoming more of a generalized gamer again, and uh, my time for Rift is, uh, it's not gone. It's dwindled to a certain degree. Uh, I do still play several hours a week, but it's not like it was. I mean, it, it used to be uh, maybe eight months ago, ten months ago, if I was playing on the computer, if I was playing a computer game on the computer, I was playing Rift. And prior to Rift, I was playing WoW, or I was playing Warhammer, or, or I was playing City of Heroes, or I was playing Star Trek Online, or I was playing whatever, you know, fill in the MMO of the moment. I was playing that game, and that's what I did. And I've started to rediscover a lot of my gaming roots, and I'm really enjoying that sort of renaissance that I'm going through. But what it means is I'm not having a whole lot of time uh, for Rift, certainly not as much as I would like to have in a perfect world. Of course, a 14-month-old kid uh, and a wife and a job and responsibilities of life will also contribute to that. So uh, that's pretty much where I am right now. The other major bit of news I wanted to share with you guys is I believe I've come to the decision to close down TalesofTalara.com. Um, many of you won't even know that TalesofTalara.com exists because you'll only have found me through YouTube, but this YouTube channel was designed to support my Rift blog. As my time to play Rift has dwindled, my care in updating the Rift blog has also dwindled. I'm a couple of uh, weeks behind when it comes to Warfronts, and uh, I really haven't put up too much in the last two or three weeks. I think it's just going through the motions at this point, and there's no reason to do that. Uh, and also on top of that, there's just not many people that visit. I, I never get comments on my posts. Uh, when I check the statistics, uh, you know, 80% of my visits are... Uh, spiders and bots and things crawling on my site for search engines. Um, of the 20% of visits that are left, 50% of those are me because I have the site as my uh, homepage. And then outside of that, uh, we get maybe 10 uniques a day that aren't me and aren't a search engine bot. So uh, it's just really not worth it. The domain expires in February and I'll probably just let it go. Uh, the site may stay up in a sort of a skeletal form until then, but uh, mostly I will move my efforts over here. I will probably start doing these audio bloggy sort of things more often, and uh, I will move, excuse me, I will move my focus away from doing anything with the website because no, it never really caught on. People never really seemed to like it. I got a couple of features on a couple of the major uh, sites, a couple of shout outs from some of the major podcasts. And uh, other than that, really, I've gotten most of my attention for my YouTube videos, so I don't see a lot of reason to keep the actual website up. You can follow me on Twitter at Tales of Talara, where I always post updates when I post new videos on TG and Rift or on this channel. And uh, other than that, that's really all I think that I need, because I'm not generating any good original content for TalesofTalara.com, so it really is kind of pointless to still even have it open. So, I hope you guys saw me dinging 48 in here somewhere, and other than that, I will keep plugging away on Rift. I really, really do want to get to level 50. I want to experience that level 50 experience. I just need to buckle down, and I just need to make it happen. Uh, it's been a little bit difficult to keep my concentration, uh, given that the PvP on my server seems to have ramped up a whole lot, especially in Shimmer Sand. So I don't know why. Um, I generally just try to make myself invisible. I try to not, you know, I don't, I don't run towards uh, Defiance when I see them. I don't, I don't even fight them when they fight me. Um, you know, when I run back to my body, if they're camping it or something, I just LOL at them. 
and uh, you know, then I'd spawn in at the healer and go off in some other direction. Because uh, I think it's personally funny. I mean, they may enjoy that. They may get a, 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 a thrill out of griefing somebody, but um, I just find it kind of silly and pathetic that they don't have anything better to do with their time, but they pay their money. They can do whatever they want with it. And uh, if they are afraid of a fair fight, then I can definitely understand why a level 50 in uh, rank 2, uh, in uh, tier 2 PvP gear, would be camping the corpse of a level 48 in questing gear. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I have been Big Dave, and uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. Until next time, take it easy.